Hi everybody, welcome to the Chelsea Update. We hope you've enjoyed your break. New season's upon us and it's Wembley next stop. So please join me for the Chelsea Update. Hi everybody. Yeah, it's that time again. A new season's upon us. Uh, the Community Shields on Sunday. Chelsea play Arsenal again after the disappointing defeat. At the FA Cup final, we didn't manage to do the double, and now we place Arsenal's team again. A few changes on his side, and there'll be a few changes on our side, I'm sure. Um, meanwhile, what else has been going on in the club? Players have gone, and players have arrived. Um, a few disappointing ones. Nathan Aki to Bournemouth. I know we got a good price for him. A bit disappointing. Um, last, if you remember the semi-final of the cup, um, our manager was praising him as a mature performance. So therefore, I thought he would stick around for this season, um, but he hasn't. He's, he wants regular first-team football, and he's now at Bournemouth. Take Dominic Solanke. His contract ran out last, at the end of the, or actually ran out 30th of June. He joined uh, Liverpool 1st July, and I think he's played more pre-season action with Liverpool than he's had with any time with Chelsea. So these moves are proving right for the players who have left. A lot of players have gone out on loan. I'm not going to mention them all. It's just not worth it. Chelsea has always freshened up the squad. Every season, it's, it's three or four changes. It's not like massive changes. We, you know, you read now that Conte wants more players to be signed for our Champions League um, pursuit. But all we've got so far is Caballero uh, from Man City. We've got him on a free goalkeeper as Begovic went also to Bournemouth. And we got Baka Yoko from... Uh, Monaco, uh, but he's not fit. He can't start the season um, to replace the departing Matic, who went to Man United just this week. Was that a good deal for Chelsea? Mm, possibly. Matic is now 29, or Bakayoko is quite a telling, it's about 23 sort of time. So age-wise, both same similar prices. Perhaps it was a good deal for Chelsea. We've got the German international a defender who's mainly a centre-back, but he can also play um, full-back as well. Rudiger, I don't know if I can pronounce his name right. Of course, we've had the fuss with Diego. Um, he got his text from um, Conte telling him he wasn't needed and he got, it all got blown out of proportion. And um, he's out in limbo at the moment. He hasn't signed for, he wants to go home to Madrid, but it's all been dragged out. Um, perhaps Chelsea will get the price. See, the problem Madrid have got, they can't play him until, until January. So that's why all the problems I think there is at the moment. Chelsea got Morata, Morata from um, Real Madrid. I, I'm pronunciations, apologise, but A, I'm just a fan. As the season progresses, we get used to these new names. Um, he he will replace Diego, and of course, I thought Michi in the in the pre-season friendlies, I thought he he was in quite good form, Michi. So I hope he gets a bit of a fairer crack this season. Just watched the press conference. Conte's in quite cheerful mood, a bit of a growth, and. Um, his watch was a bit slow, I think. Anyway, he mentioned that both Hazard and Bakayoko won't play on Sunday, and also they will be, probably miss the, the opening game against Burnley. Other other topics covered. Neymar seemed to dominate quite, quite a bit about the huge fee and financial fair play. Apart from that, not much else really. He got asked about Diego's, um, and that he just repeated the same story he repeated earlier on in the season about it's all was decided back in January. So we move on to to um, Sunday's game. So please follow me here on YouTube. Also um, check out my Twitter account, which gives you all the latest gossip and news, and of course Facebook, Instagram, and all the usual social media platforms to check out. So my name's Steve Hadlow. This has been the Chelsea Update. See you next time, everybody.